Good afternoon. My name is Myrtle Richards. I'm the uh, Western Regional Product Support Representative for Snorkel. Assisting me today is Mark Thurston. He's our Western Regional Sales Manager. Um, I know there may be golf games to get to, so I'll make it simple. <laughs> Everything that you've heard today about 19-foot scissor list, ditto. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs> no, actually, I'd like to come in. Aichi, I'll bring a fine product to the to the to the display today, but it also is a great segue into snorkel because you can tell from curb appeal on some of the units, you can look at snorkel's mentality, and we're very proud of our very simplistic design. Snorkel has always brought to the marketplace a very mechanic friendly, a very a very user friendly product. Uh, it has been uh, well received. This particular model is a sister to the SL20 that was introduced in 1998. This uh, generation, the S1930, I think we've covered the scissor lift line, the 19 foot platform height and the 30 foot uh, overall width, was, uh, came into being in October of 2001. Again, what you'll hear me say a lot today is a very simplistic design, so I may be a little quicker than the rest of the group, but again, thanks for all the competitors for showing up and give us an opportunity to kick the tires and walk around. I'm going to start in the upper control box at the top of the unit. Again, we use square tubing like a lot of the people here. My upper control box is a metal encased enclosure. It is also quick release detachable. And again, to start right off with the mechanic friendly and also operator ease, I have basically uh, three components in my upper control box. I have a joystick that possesses a 10K potentiometer, two micro switches. I have an emergency on off button and I have a toggle switch for steer. The, the decaling or placard system is very easily read. One thing that you'll notice about the snorkel product is it's not cluttered up with a lot of different placards. It has the requirements but it also is very easy for an uh, operator use to understand what it can and cannot do and what your limitations are. The deck is a 36 inch slide out deck, hitch pinned a couple different locations. We'll let Mark put that back together. Since he's in sales and I'm in service, let me put it back together. What'd you do to me? Broke it. You broke it already. surface is diamond embossed for a non-slip surface. It is form fitted for rigidity. Although simple in design, it's very functional. Mark, you want to slide out the deck? Like everyone else, different size rollers. We have two rollers inside. We have small rollers on the outside. <laughs> Debris is not really a, a major issue with us. There's quite tight tail tolerances around the, uh, the, uh, the metal frame that it slides in. Go ahead and raise it up a little bit. As we've all talked about today, we all have our safety bars, self-steering. A little higher, Mark. Come down. It'll flip on around also. The uh, box tubing uh, scissor arms, we have DU bushings, Teflon coated. They ride on chrome pins, hardened chromed pins. No maintenance, Teflon lubricated as stated. Two grease zerks on the machine, on your steer pivots only. We'll get a better view of it in a little bit, but the emergency down system is a lever system. This also has a physical mechanical stop so that I cannot damage the spool uh, stem. Sometimes with cables, they're fine when they're new, but it's a major on them. We've all talked at various times today about their debris and the things that we run into in the job site. So a very basic mechanical push on it, it comes down, a uh, self-lowering system. Pretty good, Mark. That's good. Come on down. We have proportional drive, proportional lift. Got the compass by a motor controller located in the back compartment here. 
It's a unit manufactured by Kenetech. It has a white Rogers motor compactor. Fairly simple unit. One of the pluses on the unit that we like to say at Snorkel is we don't have to have special tools. There's no analyzers. There's, it's, a, it's a very basic bare bone system. It's a 24 volt powered system. As a technician on the technician side of the fence, because I am the nuts and bolts guy at Snorkel, I'm looking for a 24 volt power source, a five volt signal, and a five volt output. So very easy to troubleshoot, very easy to, to pinpoint what we do in it. The lower control box, you have a trusty dime. Mark, I'm gonna open this, but go ahead and spin it to the, to the group. We've had, we've heard from some competitors today that they've eliminated relays. We've tried to minimize ours. There's five Bosch style relays in the lower control box. You can see that there's a very well decal lower control box, uh, number of termination points laminated to the back face of the lower control box. Again, very, very few components downstairs. Toggle switches, a 10 amp fuse. You have an hour meter, a, a cumulative run time, and you have the emotion alarm. And again, the emergency stop button downstairs. Dime. Plastic hydraulic tank with a three gallon capacity. Total system scissor capacity is 3.5 gallons. Filtration is 10 microns on the return side. The uh, Manifold system coil with uh, uh, nine volt or excuse me, eighteen volt coils. All the coils have uh, suppression diodes or another mentality is flyback diodes. Helps with the inductance spike that DC power systems generate. Single gear pump and uh, very compact yet very easily accessible for maintenance. It has a free willing valve so the unit can be free willed. Come to the back of the machine, spring applied, hydraulically released, dual, brake cylinders, three quarter inch adjustable wrench. We can de uh, de energize that system so that I can free wheel the machine. Go ahead and back of the market and have face the crowd. And then go ahead and raise it. Simple push to the low, down to lower the scissor stack. There is a mechanical stop under here so that I cannot over leverage this device and do damage to my stem or to the, the cartridge that's inside the, uh, the lift cylinder. On this side of the machine, go ahead and turn all the way around, Mark. You'll we'll see this side of the machine. The other way. On this side, we have four of the other manufacturers, four interstate batteries, 220 amp hour. We have a Signet battery charger, 24 volt, 19 amp charger, onboard diagnostics, onboard LED, state of charge, uh, a universal charger, a DC, or excuse me, AC input can vary if we send it to a different uh, location in the world. You also can see that we have standard 110 volt power to the platform, label, and we also have the lockable battery disconnect. Steel metal belly pans bolted in place. The pothole protection system is mechanical, not hydraulic. It's also part of the interlock system that if the pothole bar does not deploy, I have an interlock system at above six feet, the unit will not lift any further. It's spring applied on a cam system and it protects the operator from getting on debris, getting uh, in a situation where we don't want him lifting any further. The tilt sensor 
is two degrees side to side, four degrees front to aft. It also has a drive interlock that we turn our tilt sensor on at about six feet. It's not live uh, below that. Interlock also, all my switches are fail safe switches. There's one on the actuator bar of the popple protection system, and there's a stack switch located right here that monitors and works in conjunction with the tilt sensor. 4x12 non-marking standard tires. Uh, we do not have uh, the long list of options of some of the competitors, but we have the ones that, that are asked for the most. We have 800 amp, 800 watt, excuse me, inverter, and we have work lights, we have amber beacon, beacons, and, and that. So with that, I run through it pretty quick, but like I said, it's been a long history of a very simply engineered product. Uh, we, we, we have that mentality, or have had that mentality of snorkel for multiple years, and it's worked well for us. Forklift pockets are on the rear end, back side of the steps. It's also forklift. It's liftable from both sides as decal on three different sides. The capacity placards right as you enter into the into the rear gate. As you can see, it has a midpoint chain latch. My uh, lanyards for um, fall restraint are optional. It is an option that we provide to the customer upon request. So with that, any questions? What's the finish on Wet spray paint with the caveat that the powder coat system is being installed. Where would that be? Well, maybe, hopefully within a year. Yeah. Um, battery cut out for low, low battery level? No. Kind of signal no. One thing about snorkel product and all of our alarms, boom, our scissors, we never take, we believe that the operator is the safest safety feature of the machine, so we don't take control away from him. The attitude is if you drive it into an unsafe attitude, me as an operator, you as an operator, you want to have control over your machine to reverse that attitude, lower the machine, and make yourself safe. But the primary one is the low voltage cutouts. Right. No cutout. Like, a word of different size you have? Well, Mark, answer that question. 19 footer, the 2646, and the 3246. Yes.